the unique form of liberalization which was there in the Indian uh, economic space. And uh, the beauty and the irony is that Indian cinema or the Indian film industry has grown both despite and in spite of uh, the government. While uh, the centenary of uh, any individual, any institution, or any organization may really be something which needs to be commemorated, which needs to be noted, which possibly needs to be celebrated also. When you widen the canvas, a centenary is but a small footprint in the sands of time. So therefore, standing as we do on the cusp of completing a hundred years, we really need to look ahead and see as to what kind of uh, a universe do we imagine and envision for the Indian film industry. While uh, we have a right to be proud of our achievements, and I think uh, the Indian film industry has uh, contributed exponentially to propagating the software or the soft power component of India's net national power. But as uh, Mr. Mahesh Bhatt was rightly pointing out, that potential is not only underexplored, but we are possibly just scratching the surface. And that's why the first thing which in my uh, limited understanding I thought was needed to be done since uh, I'm both uh, artistically and aesthetically challenged, so therefore uh, my knowledge of uh, the worlds of art uh, is but very curiosity and superficial to say the least. But I have a slight understanding of the laws since uh, that's what I used to do to earn my bread and butter till a few months ago. And that's why we thought that the time has come to update the legal architecture which really underpins the entire edifice of the film industry. In the wake of uh, the controversy over Vishwarupam, and that's not the first time it has happened. It's happened on various occasions in the past. I was struck by the phenomena that here is a filmmaker who has a legitimate certification from the Central Board of Film Certification. There is a Supreme Court judgment which says that law and order should not be allowed to stand in the way of uh, artistic endeavor and its dissemination. And you have a state government which decides for reasons perhaps correct in their wisdom uh, not to allow the film to be screened. 